Craig, win today against Lark Hall. Great bounce back from last week? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we went out and we executed the game plan perfectly, um, especially after what happened last week with game management. Felt like we, we did really well to get out early, control the game, get an early goal um, and move forward with the rest of the game and, and keep the ball in touch and have that really. It was, it was good to see. Of course, as well, you said their early goal, about three minutes in, and it was from Amy Lawrence as well, who was making her first full start for the club after a few bench appearances. Great finish. Yeah, great to see. I think she took the first shot really well and it was saved really well by the Liverpool keeper. Good to see that she reacted to the rebound as well. And to finish it, um, great to get de debutants on, on the score sheet as well and, and get them moving forward with goals. And hopefully that will push her forward for the rest of the year. And to be honest, she didn't actually end there, did she, Amy? She then went and got grabbed herself a couple of assists. Yeah, a really good flick for EJ's goal, I think, um, just behind her and somehow managed to get her leg up, get a heel flick, up, took the defender out of the game and, and then a, a great finish by EJ to put that in the top corner as well. It was great to see from the sidelines. Was it disappointing in terms of there wasn't more goals going into that second half, especially with like the dominance on the pitch? Um, I think so, yeah. I think uh, for us, scoring more goals is, is something we want to do. Um, we want to be able to take teams and, and put them away a little bit. Um, something we need to work on the training and we will do um, but good to be in and around the areas creating those chances I mean, you can't score goals if you don't create chances it's always good to create chances now it's just about finishing them and of course from yourself goalkeeping coach clean sheets are probably something you look for um, disappointed with that one today uh, yeah definitely I don't think there's much Ellie could have done on that she had an outstanding game with the ball at her feet um, I think she's done really well to to come in again this year um, and improved massively with with her playing out and offers us so much more another string to the bow really so that we can really play around get the ball moving at the back and, and get out but again yeah shame that we don't get the clean sheet but we move on to next week and hopefully we get another one there so she did have some moments in the game where say some some of the back passes could have been hit a bit harder to her but she kept her focused and she kept her confidence as well to be able to clear them out. Yeah, again, it's, it's that situational awareness now. She's, she knows when to clear long, when to play it slow, when to come out the other side. Um, I think the decisions she made today on some of those back passes were really, really good. Um, she made very good decisions on those, especially with the pressure that was being put on and, and as you say, the, the back passes that were coming in. Of course, the other goal scorer that we haven't quite mentioned, Sean Wiley, another goal to her. It's now five goals for her in the sort of six games we've played, or five or six games. She's just coming on. I mean, granted, today she probably could have had a hat trick. She probably will be thinking that herself, but it's just another goal on top of that now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, she she just she can score for fun, Sean. Um, just now, she's just a couple more in a, in a game, get that confidence going and, and moving forward and. For someone to come in to us as a, as a right back and now be our leading goal scorer and week in, week out, be putting goals away, it's great to see. And she puts the work in the training, she tries really hard. She loves trying to make me and Matt look silly when we go in goal as well, which is always good. So, um, yeah, as long as she, she keeps going, she keeps working hard like she is, this season it'll be good to see how many she can get by the end of it. Of course, go into the Cup now for the National League. First round of the um, draw will take place soon, we imagine. Anyone in particular fancy? Or is it just, say, get them at home or don't care? Um, for me, I, I, I don't want any particular team. Just a great cup run, really. Um, if we can keep going and pushing through league games and, and through the cup as well, it's always good. Um, winning games is, is good momentum for any fixture. So, you know, we take our win from today into the next game um, and we keep moving forward with every game. We want to win as many games as possible and to get to a final would be great as well, not for the staff but for the, co for the players as well. Um, it's always good to be in a cup final, who doesn't love that? Of course as well, going into the next couple of weeks, a break next weekend um, due to the odd numbers in the league, is that a good chance now to recuperate, especially where today a couple of players were resting as well? Yeah, it'd be nice, um, gives the girls an opportunity to sort of get together if they want to next week, we get a good rest in. Um, and then, yeah, we, we come back to, to play Chesham, which, you know, is going to be another a tough game in the league, which we look forward to and we'll prep right in the next couple of weeks um, and then go up against them.